Number 35. Write balanced chemical equations for the reactions used to prepare each of the following compounds from the given starting material. And in some cases, additional reactants may be required. All right, you got it. Let's go for it. So we got letter B here. So we want to write the balanced equation from gaseous hydrogen bromide from liquid molecular bromine via a one step, thank goodness, <laughs> redox reaction. Okay. So we only have to write one step reaction here and seems like they wrote it a little bit weird, right? They said gaseous hydrogen bromide from this, the liquid molecular bromine. So if I'm going, um, basically from this to that, right? This from this, the wording here means that if I'm coming from the liquid molecular bromine, this has to be the reactant. And the gaseous hydrogen bromide has to be the product. So I know that I'm starting off with liquid molecular bromine. So molecular br bromine, and I'm going to my gaseous hydrogen bromide. Okay. Let's just center this. Beautiful. Okay. So molecular bromine, this is coming from a molecule, right? So they only told us that we're dealing with only one element. It's bromine, right? And bromine on the periodic table is BR. But now you have to say to yourself, Okay, well, bromine, when it's a molecule, is it alone or does it need a buddy? Does it need more than one, maybe two? And yeah, it definitely needs a buddy because bromine is one of your diatomics. So there's seven diatomics, bromine makes the list. So whenever bromine is chilling by itself, bromine's like, eh, eh, I need another one just like me, BR2. And they did tell us that standard state bromine BR2 is a liquid. So we're going to go with that. And now we're going to yield this to our other compound, which is hydrogen bromide. So seems like we got the blueprint to figure out what the compound actually is. Hydrogen bromide. Now this is a very weird... Um, naming here. It's kind of like a, a common name because I don't see any um, mono, di, tri, tetra, even though there are two nonmetals here. But we can use the charge method as well. So hydrogen, we know what hydrogen is, right? Hydrogen is H on the periodic table. And um, bromide comes from bromine on the periodic table, and that's Br. Now, just use the charges. H is in group one, so group ones are plus ones. Bromine, group 17 or 7A, those are your minus ones. So you could always take those charges, plus one and minus one, and crisscross them to figure out how many of each you need. But for this one, it's a one to one. When you crisscross, who cares about the positives and the negative? You just want the actual number. So it would just be HBr. So we'll maybe do H and Br. And they said that this was a gas, so I'm going to put this as a gas. Okay. But now, seems like we have a little bit of a problem. Because remember, when you're writing equations, the elements that are on the left-hand side have to equal the elements on the right-hand side. So I got bromine covered. I got bromine for both the left and the right side. But I only have hydrogen on the right side. But that's okay, because they did give us a heads up. They said additional reactants may be required, and a reactant is the left side. So I know now that I just need to extend this a little bit to add in the hydrogen. So now I have to do the same thing as I did when I talked about bromine. When hydrogen is by itself, can it truly exist by itself or does it need a buddy? Is hydrogen a diatomic when it's by itself? 
And yes, it is. So hydrogen will never just exist as just H when it's neutral. It will be H2. And now, one step further, because this is a diatomic, we have to know the state. And hydrogen, H2, at standard state conditions, since it's so, 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 so small, is going to act as a gas. And now we have our equation, but it's got to be balanced. Let's see. I have two bromines here, but I only got one bromine here. So I know I have to add a coefficient in the front here. What would be the number, guys? You got two over here. I have one here, so I'm going to put a two. This turns into two H's, and that's all good because this is two H's. And we are done. Here is the one stepper for this reaction, and we're done. Whoop, whoop. What do you think? Thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped you out with balancing. Let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys. Um, I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard, and I will talk to you in later lessons. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.